Okay, in this vlog, we have two equations. They're both in what we call, well, standard form. B is, but A is not. But the point is, neither one of them have isolated Y. In previous vlogs, we talked about Y equals MX plus B. And that's key because I can find the slope and my y-intercept from that, from my linear equation in that form. So we have to first is isolate y for each example. And from that new form of an equation, we can find our slope, and I'm going to add the y-intercept too. Now for example A, we have 4y plus 8x equals 1. Well, I want to isolate my y, so for now I'm going to leave it there. Put a yellow dot there so we can see, I'm going to leave it there for a minute. So right now, y is not alone. I have two things blocking me or in my way. 8x and 4 with the y, the coefficient. The easiest thing to deal with right now is the 8x. We can go ahead and subtract 8x because negative is opposite of positive from both sides to keep it balanced. And then we'll have 4y equals something. Now I could have said 1 minus 8x, but we tend to have the x term for the constant, so I put the a negative 8x right there, plus 1. It wouldn't change the answer. Now we still have y. Still not alone. 4y. That 4 is times y. If I want 4, I want the coefficient to become 1. 4 divided by 4 will be 1. Then I have to divide each of the other terms by 4 too to keep it all balanced. So now, finally I have y isolated. y equals negative 2x plus 1 quarter, 1 fourth. Now from that, I can identify my slope and my y value for the y-intercept. In blue, after I fixed it, negative 2, that's my slope. In 
green, that's my y value for the y intercept for the graph, okay? Those are our answers. Let's go to the next example now. Here, that's in what we call standard form. We have, we have an x term and a y term and an con equal constant. No matter for now, but the point is y is not alone, it's not isolated. So again, we see the y, we're going to leave it there with a negative 5. Negative 5y, leave that for now. 2x, we can deal with that. So 2x, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. Now, we're halfway home. Negative 5y, 5 now is blocking me from arriving to my goal, isolating y. Negative 5, I want that to become a 1. So, in fraction world, if we do negative 5 divided by negative 5, that becomes 1. In the other terms, we divide negative 5, negative 5 also. Now we can see I went ahead and put them in the slope and the y-intercept. You have to remember to keep the appropriate positive or negative with those numbers. 2x was a positive coefficient, so the slope itself is positive. The y-intercept, the y-value, it was minus 4 fifths, therefore the y-intercept is 0, negative 4 fifths. Thank you.